Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Aquarius, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Aquarius, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and your support of this channel. All right, my loves, let's talk about your energy. Um, first, I apologize. I know it's been a while, okay? Um, and it's my fault. I I'll take the blame, okay? Blame me. But your energy is in such a mood. I just wanted to really humbly apologize because I don't want no parts of what you got going on. So let's just dive right in. I feel your back turned to me, okay? Um... And I feel like that's how you're treating things in life right now. Maybe a certain personal situation or just life uh, as a whole. Kind of like you're just trying to turn your back because you're taking your power back or you're giving somebody the silent treatment. I don't feel cold in your energy. I don't feel malice. I don't feel revengeful or anything like that. It's more so like I'm just, I'm turning my back to this, you know, um, I don't even feel like you're running away. I just feel like your energy has its back turned to me. So um, I don't know if it's me personally or this is how you're dealing with things, but I have to speak on the energy the way it comes in. All right. So let's see what's going on, because if it's me, I do apologize, guys. I really do love you. And I know some of you have emailed me on favoritism and you know, this and corrections. And I appreciate your criticism. You know, I always respond as long as it's respectful. So if you, this is how you feel, I'm not going anywhere unless God moves me. I'm going to keep doing these readings. I'm going to keep uh, telling you what I, what, what I receive. Um, I'm going to keep pushing, you know, and, um, hopefully you'll turn back around and face me, you know, and if it's not me, then somebody is really getting, an, um, their back turned from you. So let's see Aquarius, please, please. And thank you. We're pulling from sacred rebel beyond the mind. Yeah. <laughs> the heart beats the funny. That's also look that the cards are uh, the same illustration. Um, yeah. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. Be, you know, eyes are closed, back is turned because I think you're just within. That's what this is. This is really going deep within. I don't think it's me. And honestly, I don't think it's nobody personally. And now that I'm pulling this uh, card and I'm stepping into it more and more, I think it's more so this is about Aquarius right now. This is let me just turn my back to the world. I want to just, uh, I don't know, uh, cut the TV off, cut the phone off for a second. Let me just sit in silence and process. Let me process where I am. Let me process uh, who I am. Uh, let me just process the here and now. I don't feel like I'm being pulled to the past or future in this energy. I feel like I've, I'm just processing where I am today. Okay. Who I am today. I feel like my found, I, 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 there's water under my feet right now in this energy. So uh, emotionally either you, mm, how can I say that? I know, I don't feel like emotions are overtaking you. I think that this is an emotional response. That's how I want to say that this may be an emotional response to life. Okay. But the water under my feet makes me feel like I'm not standing on firm foundation. So I think that's kind of like where you're saying, I need to, I need to stand, I need a firmer foundation under my feet. It's almost kind of like if you stand in the sand, you know, when the water comes up and you can feel yourself moving, but you're not moving, but you're moving, you know, that's how I feel in this energy. So you're really focused on your foundation, where you're standing, what you're standing for, who you are today, uh, within and without. Okay. I think that is going to 
start coming together soon. I mean, literally, it's bringing into form. And it's the same energy. Wow. That, matter of fact, I didn't even notice that. The footprint. See that? Like the sand. Wow. And I'm sitting here with my eyes closed. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the same energy. I don't feel this, though, yet. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's the same energy. You're trying to just stand. I don't think you're, this didn't come in yet because I'm not feeling anything from the vibrations coming off of this sand or from this foundation just yet. So you just in this process right now, what's coming in is I guess the enlightenment uh, of, of your stillness, you know, the enlightenment of your, whatever you're looking for within, you're going to find it. It's going to come through. Okay. Um, I, 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 I mess with you guys all the time about the fact that you don't wear your shirt, uh, you know, with the tag in the back or the, the socks don't match, you know, we, we play around with that. You don't care about stuff like that, you know, but it's because of your uniqueness, you know, um, your your uniqueness makes you you, you know? Yes, we're in this world. No, we are not of it. And if there is nobody that can really paint that picture or be the definition of this phrase is you, um, Aquarius, you know? I found your energy all over. You know that. I mean, under a rock, that's under a rock or, you know, uh, in uh, the VIP section next to the highest star, you know, that's how you roll. Okay. So it's, I don't think you're realizing that for a first time, it's more so, I think you're broadening the definition of that. Okay. That yes, you're in the world yet. No, you're not of it. Okay. But this is now going to bring you to a new determination of self. What do you feel? Not Tom, Dick, Harry, Mo, and Joe, not the job, not this or that. You know, what do you feel? Okay. With app, when you're tossing back apples and oranges, is it different? Is it the same? You know, at one time you may have looked at this and said it's fruit. Who cares? But now it's it's, you know, you've evolved. So yes, these are different flavors. They, they're different nutritional value. You know, what do you feel? Okay. What do you want? And that way, when you do manifest and call in, you're actually calling in something that's not just uh, what you, what's, a, what's, what I guess the world would consider appropriate. It's more personal. Okay. All right. Let's do your spread. I'm liking this Aquarius. Oh, I'm so glad y'all not mad at me. Ooh. I was nervous. I was like, Aquarius, turn around. <laughs> you would not. I'm telling you, I feel like the sh I can see the shoulder of this energy. It, it, it's weird, but it, it was um, I, I, it's a first for me. I have to say that I've definitely been in energy. It's like I ain't talking to you. I would have take that. But damn, that silent treatment that hit different, don't it? <laughs> But congratulations, because it takes a mature heart to actually realize that I really have to take time to figure out who I am. That takes maturity, you know? Let me have the core of this energy for Aquarius. What's at the center? Please and thank you. We're pulling from Ryder. Downloads, Eight of Wands, downloads, information, understanding, uh, matters of the heart, matters of life, things that have brought you troubles or turmoil in any way, shape, or form. That's the thing. I, I don't feel this is personal. It feels so general. It, this energy is very broad, you know? It's like you're not processing one relationship. You're processing the definition of relationship. Like that's so grown. Yeah. And you're trying to figure out what you want. What do I want? If I got the perfect relationship or friendship or job or, or life, if it was absolutely perfect today, what would it look like? You know, just for you, not for everybody, but for you. Crown this energy, please, for Aquarius. 
what's hanging over your head right now that you can pull down from exactly what you're doing perfect the seven of cups that's exactly what you're doing the seven of cups energy and mastering it because there's a lot of choices and options and availability here you know but some of them was for the old you you know some of them might be for the you that you haven't become yet okay and then there's two things out of the seven two cups two options two emotions that are perfect for you today. And those are the two that you really wanna choose from, all right? In addition to that, we have strength because in order for you to make that choice, you would have to actually embody that empress, meaning step into that birthright energy, step into that bloodline energy, okay? Taming the beast, be it within or without, okay? Keeping that at bay and under control so that it doesn't hinder or affect your decision um, and it could be, you know, so it can't be swayed. I'm going to say it like that. What's working against Aquarius right now? What's in the way? The eight of swords coming in sideways. This isn't easy. I respect that. But it's coming in sideways because you're, you're, you're fighting it. And I, I was, whew, I'm telling you, this is grown. If this was upright, what would be working against you is that you wouldn't see no way out. You can't think of a way through. You can't, you don't understand what even the problem is. Like, how am I going to fix this? But it's coming in sideways because I think that you're fighting that, that feeling. You're starting to realize, even if it's little by little, little things here and there are coming to your, um, coming into uh, your thought processes, um, those little downloads that, that are saying, listen, you have a choice. You do have an option. Look again, check again. Well, how do you feel? You know, it, and this ha has a great impact on the things that you have to come, you know, the divine gift that you're looking for, finances, abundance, house, car, job, relationship, whatever it is that you feel that you want to hold in your hand, you know, as this is just for me, this is God's gift for me. But remember I said earlier, it's like you're processing now, if I got what I want, what would it look like for me today? What Just for me. But this is coming up working against you because I think this is changing. So maybe like a kid with all I want is a pony, you know, and now you're 27 a pony is not on the top of the list anymore. It may be still within the child of you, but you just, it's come on. It's just not at the top of the list. You know what I mean? Depending on your journey, okay? Where are we coming from? Knight of Swords. Somebody piqued your interest. Conversation, something you overheard, something you even saw, maybe a quick statement here, like social media. What do you call those um, swipeys? Something you heard something. It was it was said to you, and it sparked something in you. It made you think. Maybe at a social gathering, three of cups is here, but whatever it was, it it touched the love in you. It made you touch. How can I say that? It's like let me be my let me be Nana's titties for me for a second. You know. Um, let me process the, like I said, remember the relationship, you know, what does that look like to me? What is that? Uh, what does Nana's titties to me? You know, um, what would that feel like to me? What would unconditional love look like to me? Who I am today, not before, but today, but it's a learning process because I think you are evolving. That's, that's just how I feel in this energy. Where are we going with this for Aquarius? Please and thank you. Future energy. If you're new to my channel, Nana's Titties is the Queen of Cups, unconditional love. I apologize if I didn't make that clear. Um, 
I refer to her as Nana's titties because it, it, it's, it's a, uh, I want you to refer to, first of all, it's energy. Okay. I read energy, but Nana's titties for me would, was a safe place. You know, you can always run to Nana's titties and be safe from the world, your parents or whatever. So I refer to the queen of cups love in that manner because it's unconditional and it's safe, you know? All right. So going into future energy, queen of wands, ace of wands, I would like to have that upright, but I know you're in a process and I accept it. The queen of wands is that focus coming into play, that passion coming into play, um, that determination and confidence coming into play. All right. Um, I think that with a double down with the ace of wands, because God is going to give you what you need, you know, uh, when you need it and you're getting ready to embody fire and you're going to get the gift of fire to enhance the fire and work this out. Three of Pentacles at the bottom. So what you're doing right now is absolutely perfect, okay? Absolutely perfect. Uh, justice is coming in because to be fair, you deserve to be happy and fulfilled in every area of your life instead of just this area here and then that area there, you know? Okay, yeah, my finances is good, but my love life sucks. Okay, my love life sucks, but my, you know, it's like, it's always, you know, this is great, but not that. I could use some, now we're we're going into a different, it's like you're going into a different understanding of what happiness, bliss, and fulfillment is. You understand what I'm saying? With that justice to the Ten of Cups, it's because of your growth. Your growth is calling for this. It's the, this realization and this understanding or new def, you're redefining things in your life and it's a process and it's all about, it seems like emotions or emotional, you know, emotion related things with this page, kind of like a new experience of what emotions you're standing on business with process with, with this process. I have to say that you're definitely 10 toes down. And um, you're making sure that you don't allow things to distract you or to, um, I don't want to say shame, convictions. You're not allowing frivolous things of your past to convict you. Like, uh, like you're not allowing guilt. You know, I don't feel like I'm allowing guilt in this energy. I feel like guilt is trying to knock on my door, but I'm not ashamed, you know? Um, and you're, you're standing 10 toes on that. And to be honest, intuitively, you're receiving information about, you know, you're getting the trailer to the movie of, of that's coming high priestess energy, which is giving you clarity. It's like with that guilt thing, you know, you're standing on business with that. You're saying, listen, I'm not going to allow you to make me feel bad about surviving or handling something that I did the best that I could with what I was working with at that time. I, I worked with the information I had, with the experience I had, with the maturity that I had, with the growth that I had, with the mindset that I had. Okay. But the thing about it that is even from then up until now, your faith, oh my Lord, this is going through me. Your faith was still the... <laughs> You were still connected. You understand? You were still praising or, uh, or, or, or giving, uh, asking for clarity or uh, you were praying. That's what I want to say. You were praying, you know? So now you're getting insight intuitively in your dreams, you know, uh, of clarity and understanding that things that you did stress about, okay? You're getting an opportunity for a new beginning. You're getting washed clean. So that's why you're standing and that guilt is trying to bring you back because you're getting ready to be redeemed or have at least an emotional feeling of redemption because it's a difference when knowing it's like, you know, we all know God loves us, but when you have that moment with God that you feel the rumbling waters in your spirit and you just know that's different, you know, and that's how this Ace of Cups is coming in. All right. Now, from that, it's like, okay, I still have to figure out where I'm going from here. Seven of Pentacles, that's the discernment. And just make a move of what you want, okay? Everything is going to fight you, Aquarius. I'm not going to lie because it's supposed to. Whenever you're at a, a position of growth or edification and broadening your horizons and, and, and growing spiritually and things like that, yes, uh, you're going to have some conflict, but you're going to see it different now with this hangman energy. You're going to see it through the enlightened mind, you know, with your godly glasses, all right? And you're going to just manifest your way right through it. Call 
call in what you need. If you need that passion to get through it and unga bunga it, fine. If you need that air uh, to think your way through it, fine. Okay. If you need that pinnacle to, to, you know, give you that foundation so that you can leap over it, whatever the case is, even emotional stability, control, and maturity, it's all in that magician, uh, that magician. But this, see, this wheel comes in because your vibration and frequency is high, whatever you calling in, the wheel is going to bring it. So you want to keep that vibration high to call in the fortune, to call in the abundance so that it can be delivered. Because when this wheel comes, if you manifest this movement calling in and you're not in that mindset or that vibration or that frequency or that level of faith or that edification and spirit, then you know this wheel does deliver another lesson. And that's not what we want because remember, I came into your energy and I said, you're working on your foundation, not just the foundation of your finances, but your foundation of your beliefs, your core, your existence, your purpose, your uh, view, your definition, things like that. The old you is dying, okay? And I, I almost... Oh my God, it's in my stomach. Um, I almost feel, I know, okay, let me stop saying almost because I feel it. I actually feel, um, oh, what do you call this? Grief. Grief is in here. God darn, this is killing me. Um, I don't know if you recently lost someone or you're planning to lose someone or not planning, preparing, I guess I should say, preparing to lose someone. Some of you, you're, uh, 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 hold me, okay, I got to calm down. This grief is hard. Um, a piece of you is going with somebody. I ain't gonna lie. A piece of you is going with somebody. Let it be the old you. Don't take, don't, don't um, um, ooh, y'all got me stuttering. Uh, help me with my words, Lord. Aquarius, my condolences. Can I just say that? I, I'm I, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry because for some of you, this uh, grief is more than seven years old. I'm actually seeing seven to 17 years old. And it's like you're just getting past it. You're just not getting past it, but you're allowing yourself to feel it. That's what this is. Okay, that feels better. You're allowing yourself to feel these emotions. You're accepting a loss that had changed your life and a, a part of you did leave with that um, individual and now the rebirth is going to be um, coming through, okay? Um, you did the best you could. I want to congratulate you. I, um, I think that you're a stand-up person. Um, I definitely, I'm not going to say that you're perfect cause I'd be lying. You know, I'm not going to say I'm perfect cause I'd be lying. I think you did the best you could. And, um, just know that I think, know that God sees you. You're waiting for your blessing and you're being, the angel is coming. This angel of temperance is coming to restore, replenish, rejuvenate, remind, um, you know, bring you some patience, some divine timing. You do have a ways to go. It's not over. I have to say that. But remember, for some of you, this is years of uh, grief and pain that you're just allowing uh, to die now. Okay. So we're definitely putting you into that. But when you allow yourself to mentally uh, logically, emotionally put it into it, the judgment can be called to finalize it, meaning that you're really giving it to God for real this time. You know what I mean? Whew. This is a hard truth, Aquarius, and you're taking it like a G. I just want you to know that you are taking it like a G, okay? So it might not be easy, but it's going to feel so much better knowing that the steps that you take for your future are, le are going towards fulfillment and it's not just the survival you know um yeah focusing on quality of life you will get what you need when you need it and you're going to be absolutely phenomenal all right some of you um you're going to have somebody that mishandled you that abused you god darn badly they're going to regret it. 
they're going to regret it because you're actually going to give it to God and they're going to regret it. Yeah, you're going to let God fight for you and you're going to enjoy your life and be happy and be loved and get away from get away from <coughs> excuse me people that played with your fears and your trauma that's how this feels like i love you i would never do you like they did i love you um i know your mother did this i'm not that kind of mother i love you um it's like they hung your pain over your head and told you it was love you understand what i'm saying I love you, I'm your friend, but um, I would never be that kind of friend. It's like they did, I, I, this is the weirdest energy. I, I don't even know how to, I don't have the words. The only thing I can do is describe it. I don't know what it's called, but that's how I feel with this Four of Swords. But Aquarius, you now know even how to protect yourself from that. So you've learned not to just protect yourself from what they're saying they love you better than, so you got a double a double lesson here, okay? And I don't think you realize it or you're just starting to realize it, but it's bringing down so many this tower is bringing down so many mis misinterpretations of of life, of love, of of loyalty, of stability, things like that. This tower is bringing all this down and you're handling it like a G, my goodness. It's it's making you so strong emotionally, um, really, really, uh, like I said, going within, knowing that you're it's not it's not a you thing. It's a world thing. You know, it really is. And understanding that you just learn how to kind of like I'm I'm gonna just trust you. I, let me enjoy the fruits of my labor. And God, when you're ready, I'm ready, because at this point, I'm realizing now that I was dependent if through my grief or through my trauma, if that makes sense. Okay. So as you learn to trust those issues of self-sabotage that you have to take accountability for Aquarius, I love you, but you were definitely playing a part in this, you know, but that self-sabotage issue or those misconceptions of what family should look like or feel like, or uh, togetherness should look like and feel like you're going to say, well, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm seeing this a little different. All right. Um, you're going to hold on to your goodies. You're going to start holding on to your love. It's going to seem a little selfish at first, but it's not you being selfish. You're just, you have a new definition and you're trying to connect with what's divinely guided to you as opposed to just what's there to pick you up on happenstance when somebody finds you in a bad place, you know? Ooh. All right, let me get out of this. Aquarius, I love you so much. I hope this helps, all right? Now, if any event you say, green eyes, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel, okay? If you're interested in a personal appointment, I respond to email request only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. Guys, if you like what you get here, you eat here, it feeds your spirit, you want to make a donation to the channel, please, that information is below the video or you'll find it under the about section of the channel. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.